All right, let's get another check of the forecast here at home. Meteorologist Peyton Domsky keeping an eye on things. Peyton, not too bad out there. Not too bad at all. In fact, we're going to have a beautiful evening ahead across Hampton Roads, but things switch tomorrow. Unsettled weather, unfortunately, does return to Hampton Roads, but it's not looking to impact at least the first half of your day. We're really going to focus in on the second half of your day tomorrow and even into the day on Thursday. And then we'll actually see a cool and dry end to the work week and the beginning of the weekend, too. So there is a little bit of hope as we go through the extended forecast here, but we're really going to dive into things for tomorrow here. Severe weather outlook for tomorrow is a marginal risk. This just means a level one out of five. The main threats going to be some heavier downpour, some gusty winds as the system moves on through. And I want to actually take you out um, in terms of satellite and radar right now a little bit farther to the west throughout parts of the Midwest. This is a cold front. This is a cold front that will approach our area tomorrow and give us the chance for unsettled weather here. You can just see how active it is through the suburbs of Chicago, even up through Michigan right now. Heavy rainfall, severe weather alerts in place and check out these storm reports here. A lot of them do involve hail as well as wind threats. As I mentioned for tomorrow here, our bigger chance of some of that severe weather is going to come in the form of gustier conditions and then just some heavier rainfall overall. We could always see some peacitis hail involved in some of this system as it moves on through, but let's really time it out. As I mentioned, not going to really impact the first half of your day here. So any early morning commuting, maybe it's taking the kids, the grandkids out to the bus stop tomorrow morning. You're going to be good to go. You might want to keep the umbrella handy as we go through the second half of the day, but the chances really start to develop at about 5 p.m. But things still farther west right around I-95 as we go throughout the rest of the evening here and even toward the overnight, that's when things are going to be most active. Some of these brighter tones here, yellows, oranges, reds, some heavier pockets of rainfall as this sweeps on through. And and still keeping the chances with us through about 2 a.m. tomorrow. And then as we go through the day on Thursday, two isolated rain chances, at least in the morning, and then another chance for some more unsettled on the scattered side, at least down through northeast North Carolina for Thursday evening. So our chances for unsettled weather will be with us the next couple of days, but our temperatures as a result of that cold front moving through are going to drop back right around 80 degrees for Thursday. Even Friday, seeing highs in the upper 70s will get a little bit warmer by Sunday, but really close to where we should be this time of the year. So tomorrow a little bit warmer right around 87. Blue skies, sunshine, fair weather clouds outside right now as high pressure is in control of our weather here locally. 84 though at the airport right now, there's a slight breeze. So if you're trying to get some steps in this evening or maybe have uh, maybe a grill um, firing up in your backyard today, you might want to pay attention to your napkins and plates. But 86 right now in Portsmouth as well as Hampton, 79 in Duck, North Carolina. Tonight about 70 degrees we drop on down to mainly clear. So not a bad one for stargazers, but as I mentioned, things change tomorrow. And Check out the weekend here. Not a bad one whatsoever. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday all look very dry. Not even bad conditions to maybe get out and get the car washed too. Just some unsettled weather tomorrow. Have that 13 News Now Raider app handy.